Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial of C programming. In this video, we are going to study the basic concepts related to the pointers. So let us see what is pointer. So pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable of same type. So what is the important thing here? Pointer is what? It is also a variable. So what is the purpose of variable? The purpose of variable is to store the value of specific data type. And what is the purpose of pointer? It is also variable. But instead of storing a value, what it stores? It stores the address of another variable of same type. Now what is the meaning of this same type? Same type means same data type. Okay, same type means what? Same data type. So remember this thing that if you have an integer variable, your pointer variable should be of type what? Integer. Okay, now since it is variable and as we declare a variable, we have to declare our pointer also because we know that whatever part or whatever identifier we want to use in our program, we have to declare it. So as we declare our variable, we have to declare our pointer also. So let us see how to do declaration of a pointer. So as I told you, pointer holds the address of another variable of same type. So that means the pointer data type and your variable data type should match. Okay. C do not create a separate data type for a pointers or C do not create a separate data types to store the address. What C does? Suppose you have integer data type and you want to store the integer address. So which data type you will use? In star. Okay, so this will stores the value whereas this will stores the address. This will store the address. Basically address means what? Address means the memory location. Remember this thing. Okay, address means what? A memory location. Means suppose I want to declare a pointer of type integer. So what will I say? Int star p. If I want to store the address of floating point variable, so I will say float star q. Now while naming a pointer, this name should be a valid identifier and all of you know the rules for valid identifier. Now suppose you want to declare multiple pointers of type character. How will you declare it? We will say char star p1 comma star p2. See, it is little bit confusing. Basically, star is the star should be attached with your data type. So here, actually, it is attached with your variable name. So don't get confused. Okay. So this is a way to declare a pointer in a C program. So I hope you how to how to do the declaration of a pointer in programming. Now, let us see the operators that are used with pointer variables. Now there are two operators. First one is address of operator. First operator is what? Address of operator and second operator is indirection operator. Second operator is indirection operator or it is also called as value at address operator. Value at address operator. Now, what are the signs or what are the symbols used for this? So, for address operator, ampersand sign is used. And for indirection operator or value at address operator, asterisk sign is used. So, don't get confused with this asterisk and the operator, indirection operator asterisk. Okay. So, while declaration, if you use asterisk, it means you are declaring the pointer variable and in expression if you use at asterisk it means you are using value at address operator now see we cannot know the address of any particular variable suppose I, I want to store the address of particular variable okay how would I know the address of memory definitely it for each machine to machine that addresses are going to be different so to fetch that addresses which operator is used? Address of operator is used. Means suppose you have variable x. Okay. 
and you want to know the address of that variable what you will say you will say ampersand x so this is actually a unary operator and what it does it will gives you the address of that x say this is your x variable okay say ds 1809 okay this is the memory location this is what this is memory location or you can say this is what this is address of your variable and it is currently it is storing some value say it is storing 3 okay now what i want to do i want to fetch this address okay i want to access this address so i have to say ampersand x now where do i store this address see for storing the address he has created a separate variable and that variables are nothing but what pointer variable now your x is of type integer so your pointer variable should be of type integer so what will i do i'll declare one pointer variable px so now px is a pointer variable which stores the address of another variable now see this is px sorry this is px and it also has some memory location say pq1122 these are just for example addresses actually in, in reality these addresses looks very different and what is it storing now it is storing the address of another variable that is address of x so it is nothing but it is pointing to that variable what is it doing it is pointing to that memory location that's why it is called as what pointer okay so i hope you differentiate between this x is a normal variable which is storing the value whereas px is a pointer variable which is storing the address of another variable okay so always remember one thing that pointer can store the address of existing variable only if your variable do not exist it cannot store the address because when you declare a variable at that time memory get allocated and only at that time you can access the address of it okay so i hope you got this how to get the address of particular variable and where to store it now basically see programmer is not interested in address programmer is actually interested in value so suppose i want to access the value of x indirectly using this pointer variable okay when i say directly x definitely i will get i will get the value of x but suppose i want to access the value of this x value of this x using this pointer variable so how will i access it so for that purpose what you can use you can use indirection operator or value at address operator so what we have to say px say star star px now say we have one variable y and what i want to do i want to store the value of x in variable r y but using pointer variable means first of all i will access that value using pointer variable and then after i'll assign that value to y so what steps are happening here actually star of px so px means what px means value stored in px so what value is stored in px ds colon 1809 okay and star means what or asterisk means what value at that address so what is the value at that address the so value is 3 so this 3 value get assigned to your variable y so whenever you want to fetch a value of a variable using pointer variable in that case you will put asterisk sign before it see whenever you use asterisk sign in declaration it is pointer declaration here you are using it in a expression at that time it acts as a operator value at address operator okay now let us see the next part a one more concept is there associating with pointer it is dereferencing pointer what is it dereferencing pointer 
नॉट इज डी रेफरेंसिंग पॉइंट आई मीन ऑल्टरिंग और चेंजिंग एंड रीडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल यूजिंग पॉइंटर इज कॉल्ड एज डी रेफरेंसिंग पॉइंटर ओके सी हियर वॉट वी डिट वी रीड अ वैल्यू ऑफ अ वेरिएबल यूजिंग पॉइंटर ओके समटाइम्स वी ऑलवेज थिंक दैट पॉइंटर्स आर यूज टू रीड द वैल्यूज ओनली बट एक्चुअली दिस इज नॉट द केस पॉइंटर्स आर यूज टू ऑल्टर द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट मेमरी लोकेशन ऑल्सो सो दैट पर्टिक्युलर प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट डी रेफरेंसिंग पॉइंट आई मीन्स यू कैन रीड द वैल्यू ऑल्सो यूजिंग पॉइंटर एज वेल एज यू कैन ऑल्टर द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पॉइंटर मीन्स सपोज अगेन लेट इज टेक एन एग्जाम्पल से इंट एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री then let me declare one pointer variable say star px and px is currently holding the address of x okay so this is my x having value 3 let us call it as ds1809 now this is my px which is holding the address of variable x okay and it has its own address also so basically it is pointing to this memory location now if i say star px plus plus star px plus plus so what is i am saying here actually i am saying that increment the value of x by 1 because star px means what star px means what value at at this address value at that address so what is the value at that address the value at that address is what 3 and plus plus means what increment and increment and again store it in the same variable so basically the meaning of this statement is what star px is equal to star px plus 1 so this will gives me 3 plus 1 and then 4 where we are assigning it we are assigning it to the memory location that is hold by this px so which memory location is held by this px this px is holding the memory location of x so that's why what it does it will put this value at the memory location held by px so here we use a pointer to alter the value okay so with the help of pointer we can read the memory location as well as we can change the memory location data also so i hope you got the basic concepts related to the pointer so you may think that with the help of variables we are doing all the task very easily while we need the pointers right okay while we need to calculate its address and then again with the help of that address we are going to fetch our value right so let us see the application of pointers where pointers are helpful see in last video we saw the different methods of passing argument so we can pass a argument by value or we can pass a argument by reference so whenever you are going to pass a argument by reference you have to take a help of pointer because by reference means what reference means what memory location or in simple language reference means what address of your variable okay so what you are passing you are passing address and since you are passing address you have to collect that address in pointer variable we are going to see this part separately so this is one application where pointers are used now second most important application is dynamic memory allocation so dynamic memory allocation means what allocating memory at run time allocating memory at run time see basically when we declare any variable when we say int x or when we say float y at that time what happens when we declare a variable at compile time only the memory get allocated for this and the disadvantage of this static memory allocation so the memory that allocated at compile time is static memory allocation so what is the disadvantage of static memory allocation we cannot alter the memory locations or memory allocations at run time suppose i need some extra memory location i cannot allocate it at run time okay but if i am using dynamic memory allocation i can allocate the required memory at run time 
so that is called as what dynamic memory allocation and to allocate that memory dynamically we have to collect the address of that dynamic memory dynamically allocated memory and we have to store it somewhere see they are getting the address of dynamically allocated memory okay i hope you got this we are getting the address so to store the address we need what pointer so definitely we are going to see the examples on both the application so i hope you got the concept of pointer so let us revise it so first of all we saw the definition of pointer and we saw that pointer is also variable like any other variable but instead of storing a value it stores the address of another variable of same type this is very important integer pointer variable cannot store the address of floating point variable definitely i am going to tell you the reason of this also okay but time being just remember that pointer hold the address of another variable of same type then we saw the declaration process how to declare a pointer see do not created a different data type to store the address what see does suppose you have integer pointer say in star if you have float pointer say float star okay so when you declare your variable in this way it will be considered as pointer variable means you are it is ready to hold the address of another variable of same type if you declare your variable in this way just int x then it will be a value variable okay then after we saw the pointer operators so there are two pointer operators that helps us to get a address of any particular variable and another one is value at address operator which helps us to access the value using pointer variable then we saw the concept of dereferencing pointer so dereferencing pointer is nothing but altering as well as reading the value of a variable using pointer many a times students assume that pointers are used to fetch a value only but this is not the case pointers are also used to read alter the value also then we saw the two applications of a pointers that is passing argument by reference and dynamic memory allocation and as i said we are going to see the examples on both of the applications so in next video we are going to study the concept of passing argument by reference using example so thank you Thank you so much.